Good morning. Welcome back. The complicated legacy of Fidel Castro is making its mark on the sports world. 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick was back in the headlines this week for wearing a T-shirt that featured a photo of Castro and defended Castro's Cuba in an argument with Miami Herald's writer. Now today, just two days after Castro's death, he'll be here in Miami as his team faces the Dolphins. CBS4's Mike Cuno has more on the quarterback's controversy. Earlier this year, Colin Kaepernick made headlines for kneeling during the national anthem, saying he was protesting racial injustice in the United States. But when he appeared in a press conference wearing a shirt with the image of former Cuban President Fidel Castro, his movement was called into question. Miami Herald journalist Armando Salguero challenged him Wednesday on a conference call on the reasoning behind that T-shirt. I'm not talking about Fidel Castro and his oppression. I'm talking about Malcolm X and what he's done for people. No, I realize uh, we're not talking about it because it's uncomfortable. Fidel Castro did do is they have the highest literacy rate because they invest more in their education system than they do in our prison system, which we do not do here. Salguero, a Cuban-American, and Kaepernick continue to engage in a heated exchange, with Salguero questioning the 49ers QB and his overall argument. He broke up families. He took over a country again without any you know, justice and without any elections. Uh, we do break up families here. That's what mass incarceration is. That was the foundation of slavery, so our country has been based on that, as well as the genocide of Native Americans. Are you equating the breaking up of Cuban families with people going to jail in the United States of America? I'm equating the breaking up of families with breaking up of families. Now, in his column Friday in the Miami Herald, Salguero called Kaepernick a hypocrite and a fraud for both the T-shirt and his arguments. As far as today's game is concerned, there's no telling what kind of reception Kaepernick can expect at Hard Rock Stadium. Mike Cunha for CBS4 Sports.